Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a web design tutorial for you guys in Adobe XD. We're going to be creating this website for a learning platform. It's got multiple sections. So in the first video, we're going to create the hero section and create the style of the design. And then in the next video, part two, we're going to finish the rest of the following sections all the way down to the footer and complete the website. So let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. Also real quick, if you're interested in the completed project file for this, that is available to those of you who are members in the community tab set over there and download that if you're interested in that. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I have a 1920 by 1080 artboard and I'm going to turn on my grid layout with 12 columns. Just leave everything default you see here and we'll lower the opacity on that so we can work and see through the columns. Before we get started with our wireframe, today's video is sponsored by Milanote. Milanote is a bit different than traditional software. It's more like working on a wall in a creative studio. It allows you to map out your projects, gather and organize all of your inspiration in one convenient place, and it also allows you to collaborate with your colleagues or clients in real time. As a full stack designer, it's an essential part of my workflow. And this awesome tool is free, so check out the link at the top of the description. So for our wireframe, we're just going to be laying out our text, and we have one illustration we're going to create over here. It's going to look like a web browser. So let's go ahead and get started with our navigation up top. I'm going to be aligning the logo on this far left-hand column on the left-hand side. Today we're going to go with Poppins for the font. I'm going to set this logo to 30 points. And we'll bump the weight to medium and make sure that's aligned to the left. It's going to hold option or alt and drag out a duplicate of that text. And this one we're going to scale down to 20. That's going to be the size of our link text. I'm just going to go ahead and create three of those holding shift. I'm going to select all three command G or control G to group those together. And then we're going to set that to a stack so we can adjust the spacing on these. So I'm going to set the spacing right now to 50 in between each of those, and it'll automatically adjust. Also want to make sure these are center aligned, which they are. We'll worry about the text in a minute, but the overall position of this group is going to be centered on the entire artboard. So I'm going to select this icon right here, and then we'll make sure that is centered vertically with our logo. Next, we're going to have a, another link over here on the right to log in. And since we're working on the right side of the document, I'm going to align this one to the right just to make things a little bit easier. Holding Option or Alt, drag out a duplicate, and we'll call that one Sign Up. We're going to make the Sign Up a button. So this is going to be our first button. So we'll just drag out a rectangle, and I'm going to send that to the back. That was Command Shift, Left Square Bracket Key. And I'm going to select both the rectangle and our text, and then center them together, and then Command G to group that. So now that we have that grouped, we can work with the padding values here. So I'm going to start with 16 on the top, 40 on the sides, and 16 on the bottom. Then we can double click to grab the rectangle inside of that group. And we're just going to drag the border radius all the way in to make a nice rounded button. And for now, we'll just set this to the default gray that Adobe gives us and we'll set the text to white so we can see it. We're going to set that here on the right side edge of this column and we'll put 50 spacing in between the login and the sign up button. We're going to select all of those now and make sure they're centered together. And I'm going to hold option or alt with that group selected. And you can see we have 45 from the top. I'm going to set that to 40 points from the top of the artboard. So now we've wireframed up our navigation, nice and easy. We're going to work on the left-hand side now. So I'm going to just grab this logo for some text and we're going to set that one to 64, leave it at medium weight and left align. Just going to paste in some text and then I'm going to convert this to auto height and I'll drag this in and we'll make this five columns wide. And then I've striked through the differently just for some added style to this heading. Below that, we're going to have some body sized font. We're going to have a paragraph. And for this, we're going to set it to 16 points and regular weight. And then I've also set the line height to 24 and it's aligned on the left. 
With this, we're gonna set it to auto height and we're gonna drag out the width of this to four columns. It's gonna paste in some lorem ipsum and we'll put that 20 points below our giant heading. Next, we need another button. So I'm just gonna grab the sign up, hold option or alt to drag out a duplicate. And then now we have a new button and I'm going to center align this text so that it stays centered inside of this group. And I'm gonna change the text to get started for free. And since we used our padding on this, it expands nicely. And now we have an easy to use button. we will put that 40 points below the body. The last thing I wanna do here in the wireframe is grab a rectangle and I'm just gonna drag this out the entire width and height of the artboard and then I'm going to hold shift and alt or option and drag in and that gives me a rectangle that's 906 by 512. The reason I did that is just because I wanted the same ratio as the size of this artboard for this rectangle and I'm going to set this to the middle of the artboard vertically and then we're just going to drag it until it touches here on the edge for now and that's going to be where our illustration is going to be. With this info on the left, I'm gonna hit Command G to group it just for now, and then I'm gonna center it into the artboard, and then I'm gonna ungroup it with Command Shift G. So now let's start to make this look good. So I'm gonna select the artboard, and I'm just gonna double click on this, and I just like to rename it to Home, and I'm gonna set the background color on this to FDE3E3. It's a nice pink color, it's nice and light, and we can also turn off those columns if you want for now. For the logo, I'm just gonna change this to learn with a period, and I'll set that to black. The black color I'm gonna be using is 0D1C27. We zoom in here. We can look, it's just slightly into the blue, just so it blends a little bit nicer with the pink color rather than full black, it sends out quite a bit. So I've just added that subtle detail to make it look a little bit cleaner. For our links here in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and change the text on those as well. While I'm inside of that group, I'm gonna shift click on all three of these to grab each one of these texts. I'm gonna set that to the black color we're using. And I'm also going to set these to underline just for a nice stylized look. Same thing with login, add that underline and change the color. For the button, we'll just fill that to that black color. One more thing I'm gonna do is add a rectangle at the top of the artboard. And this is going to be six pixels high. I'm gonna remove the border and fill it to that black color. For our text on the left, I'm gonna grab both of those and set them to black. And then on the body, I'm gonna press eight on the keyboard, or you can drag the opacity over here to 80%. For our button, we'll fill that rectangle to black. So on this illustration on the right, which is going to have a web browser look, we're gonna have a video. So I'm gonna select this rectangle and I'm going to fill it to our black color. So right click on this, apply as border. And we're gonna set that to two in size. And I'm gonna make sure that is on the outside by selecting this icon here. And then we can remove the fill. Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V to copy and paste. And then on this one, I'm gonna drag it down 30 in height. And I'm gonna change this one to fill and remove the border. I'm gonna send this one all the way to the back. So Command Shift, left square bracket key. Or you can go to the layers panel and just drag it all the way down to the bottom. And for now, I'm gonna lower the opacity on this. We're just gonna have an image in here. Next, I need to grab the line tool and I'm going to drag out a straight line. That's going to stretch from the left-hand side of that right angle to the right. I'm gonna set the size to two. And right-click, apply as border on that color. So we have this. In the top left, we're gonna have a Mac style browser. So we're gonna have three circles in the corner. I'm just gonna grab the ellipse tool, holding shift to drag out a perfect circle. I'm gonna lock that aspect ratio there and set the top one to eight. And so that will adjust the width and height, both eight. And then we'll fill that to the black color we're using. I'm going to center that in between this line and this one and put 14 spacing here on the left, holding option to drag out a duplicate putting six points in between those. And I'll do a third one as well to give us that nice browser look there. And then on the section, as well as the video, I'm going to have a little card down here in the bottom left. So I'll drag out a rectangle for that. So I'm gonna drag in the image now for this. And this is just an image from unsplash.com. 
I'm going to drag that up to about 85%. I could drag it up to 100, but I just want to show a little bit of that pink since this image has some pink in it. I think that'll look nice. For now, I'm going to drag this rectangle out of the way, and I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and hold shift. And I'm going to create a circle that's 120 by 120. And that's going to go center inside of this bottom rectangle here. I'm going to remove the border on that and the fill will stay white. I'm going to open up Nucleo, which houses all my icons. So here I have box icons. I'm just going to grab a play icon and drag and drop that in and set that to our black color. And we'll put that inside of this circle. And then I'm going to scale this up. So it's 30 by 36 for this particular icon. I'm gonna hold shift, grab that circle with that icon selected, center that. And then since this is this particular icon, you can see it doesn't look quite centered because it's a triangle. So you just visually have to push this over to the right. Until it looks centered inside of the circle, just kind of an optical illusion there. So for mine, it's 49 from the left and 41 on the right. I'm just gonna group that with its circle. And now we have a play icon. So now we need to design the trending featured course here. So I'm gonna grab this rectangle and set it to 244 by 248. I know I'm gonna have this in the similar style to this rectangle up here. So I'm gonna change the size to two, make sure the border is on the outside and we can fill it with our black color. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this to green, which is C F F F E one. Then we'll add some text. Our card's gonna have a title and we'll bump this up to 25. We're also going to have a small tagline below it. I'm gonna set that to 12 regular weight. That's gonna be touching the very bottom of title. And then we're going to need a trending tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and type out trending in all caps. And we'll set that to 14. So just slightly bigger than our tagline there. And we're going to need a rectangle to go behind that. Just drag one out and hit command left square bracket key to send it one layer back. Grabbing both of those with shift, align them to the center, command G to group them, and we'll convert that to padding. And for the padding on this one, I'm gonna go 11 on the sides and 19 on the top and bottom. Our rectangle is gonna have no border and it's gonna be set to our black color and our text is going to be set to default white. And lastly, we need an icon here in the top right. So back to Nucleo, I'm gonna grab an external link icon and just drag that in. I'm gonna set it to black, and I'm gonna put this 20 from the top and 20 from the right. Next, our title is gonna go 15 below this icon, so clicking on that, I can hold Option and hover over it. And we'll drop that down 15 below this icon. And we're gonna put 30 spacing on the left. And then for our trending tag, we're gonna go 30 from the left side and 30 from the bottom. So if I grab all of that and group it together and then convert it to padding, you'll see we have 20 padding on the top, 20 on the right, 30 on the bottom and 30 on the left. So it's just slightly asymmetrical, giving it more space on the left and the bottom than on the top and the right. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in with Japanese. And with those characters in there, I'm going to set that to a regular weight. So I'm just going to position this visually somewhere around there. Right now it's 98 from the bottom of this rectangle and 92 from the left-hand side. So with that, I'm gonna grab this entire thing and Command G to group it together. And right now it's touching the right side of this artboard. So I'm just gonna bump that over 20 pixels, so holding shift and hitting right arrow key twice, 10, 20. Just so it slightly hangs off the screen there. And then now that we have everything here, I'm just gonna grab this left-hand side and bump it up 10 points, just so it's a little higher and everything looks nice and even here in this middle section. And then we can hit desktop preview. And there is our finished hero section for this online learning platform. Hope you guys enjoyed creating this design. I'll see you guys in part two, where we continue on with the rest of this website. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A special thanks to Milano for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check out their product for planning your next creative project, check out the link at the top of the description. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys 
in the next one.